Hi everyone, welcome back again to my channel. This is Belize, if you don't already know. And this is a channel where I do um, travel vlogs and I also do Christian content, if you ever, you know, wanna look into that as well. But today I am currently in Sydney. Um, I came here because I haven't actually been. So today is my first day here and we're just, me and my friend are just gonna do a bit of traveling, breakfast, um, shopping and stuff like that. So enjoy. everyone this is Belize um, we're at the Blue Navy and we're having a breakfast um, it's a really nice place like you can see the, the bridge there and also the Sydney Harbour is just literally behind us um, but I'm having a hot chocolate and I'm having this raisin thing which I love and I enjoy Sharifa, what, what are you having? I'm um, having a croissant and just a beautiful chai, chai latte. Chai latte. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. So after that, we took a train um, and we headed to an art gallery, which was located in Sydney, in the um, city of Sydney and we went to look at the different arts that they had which was amazing because I am a great fan of art. Now at this place there was so much um, to see, so much interesting things, um, so many nice paintings and that was my favorite one that I loved and then we head into this other room which had some other awesome paintings that looked like they're from the olden days and then we headed to this other place where there was like a window and you look at the whole city and this lady was crying I don't know if that was part of the art but anyways we'll leave it to that so after that we headed to the opera house and we walked around there were so many people and it was so nice and lovely the sun was out the view was nice that was me looking around um, and then we went to a restaurant that was just literally below the opera house and that's where we had our lunch so that's the lunch that I had me and my friend and um, I had this pasta thing with the a passion fruit mocktail and my friend had the food that you all just saw and that's what we had for our lunch. We are back, back to the house or our hotel um, and we bought some food off Diha and everything. I have sushi here and I have some um, some Chinese food that I bought. I think it's called Langsu, what Langsu? Langsu something noodles. Never tried it but I'm gonna try it today. Hopefully it's not that spicy. Um, but yeah, today was actually a very nice day. We had so much fun, but then we did so much walking. It looks like a whole thingy. Yeah, I hope it's not spicy. Yeah. You know, you need to stop How are you gonna eat that like? I don't even know. They should have cut it like. Cut it in pieces. Unless you just hold it with your hand. There's no point in holding it with your hand. Okay, no, I look I wanna look fancy. <laughs> okay. okay. 
Anyway, so I have sushi. That's what I'm gonna have for dinner. But yeah, today we did so much walking, like it was literally crazy. Like we walked um so many places and we're catching trains and trams. Cause none of us can can drive here. All of us are afraid to drive here. Like people here drive crazy. I ain't trying to lose my life, that's what's up. And then we also have wasabi. I'm gonna try it. I've seen people trying it on uh, on like TikTok and like um thingy, YouTube. So I'm gonna try it. Apparently I've heard it's very spicy. Actually, I'm gonna try it right now. Should you have it? No, I've never tried it. Yeah. You wanna try? Is it like chili or what is it? I actually don't know. I've seen people trying it and they're like, oh my gosh. Let's find out. Let's see. Oh hell. <laughs> it smells crazy. Yeah. You can have the other sleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Forget that. We take it together. Okay. Ready? Set. Okay. Do you want to go in? No? Okay. Just okay. And they said. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> the smell is not real. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ready? Bro. <laughs> you feel like I'm going to pass out? Okay. Okay. One, two, three. Oh God. No, you need to stick the whole lot in. Ah. <laughs> I think they put it on like fish and stuff. Mm. No, it's not good. That's the first step. Try your noodle and let me know. Yeah, let me try. Do you want, do you want to have some or something? Huh? Um, I'll have some later. Okay. Or maybe I'll, yeah, after you have okay. some. Okay. It's like a whole bowl. A bowl of food right now. Is and it I'm still gonna... warm? Yeah, it's actually warm. Okay. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't even use the, I couldn't even use the chopsticks, bro. Oh yeah. The way I'm watching you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Your face is like. Mm -mm. No, you have it. No, your face expression. You, you might like it. I don't like the, the noodles, but then the meat is actually nice. No, no, I'm good. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. That was always in my mind. Good morning everyone. Um, today is another day and this is how it looks outside. It is so pretty. Um, it's a very nice day, sunny day and you can literally see see the water, like the beach, not the beach, the sea. Yes, you can see the sea right there, literally. It's so beautiful to look at. Um, and yes, today I am going to a place called Luna Park um, it's like a, a theme park and this is how I am dressed um, I have my shoes my pants and yes this is how I look like all right okay I will see you there before we went to the park we headed to this cafe place and it was so beautiful 
was so decorated with flowers and it looked so aesthetic um that's where we had our breakfast and that's the breakfast we had i had an omelette with two slices of toast and a hot chocolate and my friend had a burger and a latte after our breakfast we then headed to the Luna Park unfortunately when we got to the park there were only two rides open um, this is because it was a weekday and they told us that only on the weekends is when they have the park fully opened and most rides are usually opened so what we did we only paid for two rides which only cost us probably like $35 per person and we walked around and did a few things here and there After that, we took another train and headed to Bondi Junction, um, Westfield Shopping Center. And we did a few shoppings here and there. There were so many shopping um, places. There was Zara, which I headed to and bought a few stuff clothes. And then there was also some other very nice stores around. And then I went to the makeup store where I got to look for a few of my makeups that I wanted. So we're at this Sudanese restaurant, my friend suggested that we have Sudanese food, which is very good and I like it. Yep. So we have Asida, Asida here, and uh, Tegalia, and the other one is uh, Rob. Yeah, and we got some bread on the side. We have chili. We have chili. This is called shaya. Shaya. Yep. So we take the bread. Yep. And then we put it on the dipper. And then we get the dip in the chili. Is it nice? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So after we went to this jewelry place, it was a gold place. And so my friend bought some jewelry. Um, and what they do is they weigh the gold, the jewelry, and then um, depending on the weight, that's how much you pay. Um, this is the outfit that I am taking. Um, I'm going for my birthday dinner. Um, so yeah, we're going to a place called Squeeze Something Landing. It's literally behind the, the bridge, the harbor bridge. So yeah, I'm going there for my birthday. Um, yes, see me when I get there.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Hooray! Happy birthday. Thank you. We are back, back from the dinner. Um, it was nice. I actually loved it. Um, they had this beautiful view, like you could literally see the the Harbour Bridge and the other thingy. Um, this restaurant was called um, Squeezer, Squeezer's Landing or something. Anyways, yes. But it was so pretty. He had like a bottom se bottom section and then a top a top section where you can like eat and then at the bottom was where you know people drink and all that so we ended up going up to the top section which was so nice um like you could literally see the whole view the water the buildings the harbor bridge um everything it was so nice and i loved it yes so a recommendation to anyone who wants to go there please do go there i will put the name of the place here because i cannot read it out well um please do go there you will very much enjoy it um but at the moment i'm taking off my makeup it's that, that time of the night where you have to take off your makeup so i have to do that oh my gosh so i have decided to show you my skincare routine um it's not that much of a skincare routine but I try to do it before I go to bed or in the morning before I go to work. So once done, this is all my face um, without the makeup. Um, so once I do that, I've done that, I usually use my cleanser. That's what I do to cleanse my face. And after that, I also have some lotion which is um it's usually the same one the cetaphil lotion um, it's very good for your skin so once i'm done i put that on my face And get your neck as well. You're not leaving your neck out. You have to put it in as well. <laughs> and then once you're done with the base lotion, um, I usually go in with an eye cream for my eyes because I have really dark eyes. Um, so I put it on before I go to bed because in the morning, um, my eyes are, not, are less puffier, like they're much more less puffier than the way they are on my usual day. So I just tap tap tap. And then there's this also this other one, Ordinary. I rarely use it, it's, it's very sticky on my skin. So I just put a little bit of it, not always, but sometimes I just put, um, yes. Rub, rub. And then we have sunscreen. This sunscreen goes on every day, all day long. I don't miss my sunscreen. I have to put it on because it's quite important actually. I don't understand what people say, oh, you know, I don't put sunscreen, you know? Um, I remember when I was like back in school and I remember like the teachers will come and check on us if we have like our hats and like we, if we've put sunscreen or anything and then we'll be like um miss we we're black <laughs> we 
We were like, we're black, we don't need sunscreen. Because but of our melanin black. and whatnot. I was, oh my gosh. But like, right now, I'm like, girl, what were you on? Like, was it, what type of drugs were you on? Because that was, that was the most silliest thing I ever said. But then it don't matter. It don't matter whether you're black, whether you're white, whether you identify as all the colors of the rainbow. Baby, sunscreen is needed. It is actually very much needed. Um, yeah, it's very good for your skin. So put it on, put it on. Because if you don't put it on, the, and you out in the sun, <laughs> out in the sun, trust, trust, you'll be dealt with. You can come with like a bun chicken nugget, a crispy chicken bun nugget, you know, midnight hour, darkness and horror, might as well just put your sunscreen. Put it on. You don't cost much. It does not. It does not. Like, when I used to say, oh, you know, I don't need, I don't need no, you know, sunscreen, whatever, I'm black, what? Girl. Girl. And people, I do know people still say that. But like, do you want a cookie for that? <laughs> what do you want? Do you want a cookie? Do you want a doggy treat? What do you want? <laughs> Minnesota just for your sunscreen, it doesn't cost much. Anyways, after my sunscreen, so I put my sunscreen and I also have my I have my lip gloss that I put on and yes I do put it on even before I go to bed. Like I'm I'm that obsessed. Everywhere I go I usually have like lip glosses or lip balms on my side. Um, on me. So anyways, that's the I don't even think you can see it. That's the lip gloss that I use and it's very nice. So anyways, I put it on every day, all day. And yes, darling, it's a lot of stuff. But your skin needs it. Your skin. Gonna, it's gonna go crusty and ugly. Might as well just put everything. Okay? I'm I don't I don't wanna have wrinkles and you know burnt skin when I am like in my eighties or whatnot. And yes, that's also my thingy that I use. But yes, that concludes my day. It was a busy day today. Um concludes my birthday which I enjoyed like although it doesn't feel any different like me turning whatever age I'm turning it doesn't feel any different it's just like another year of my life it's crazy and like I've realized that even when like the end of the year comes and you know how people are doing like the countdown it's like you know people are like oh five four three two one I feel sad like I I feel like sad because the year is ending it just doesn't make sense it's like I have attachment issues to things so even my when my like birthday comes I feel the same like I'm not like that excited or anything I'm, I'm grateful and I'm grateful to God that he obviously has given me this many years but I am almost my big mid 20s mid 20s meaning 30 almost 30 after 30 50 50 close to my retirement um as care then then we die that's that's the way of life i realized that life is actually very short it's very short but with everything i am grateful and i'm grateful to god for everything that he does his provisions his planning his his guidance literally I wouldn't be who I am today I wouldn't be here today if it was not for God so on this birthday of mine I just want to say thanks to God for obviously what he has done in my life but yes that concludes the day the day of today tomorrow is another day and then the following day we head back home see you tomorrow around I forgot to do that so I'm doing it last minute um, so this is the hotel we're staying at it's called Meriton um, at 
Bondi Junction. So the first thing, you enter the door. So once you do that, there's like the washing place, the dryer, the washing machine and all other stuff. And then we keep going. basically has the essential stuff that we need. Um, keep on going. And this is the dining area and the sitting room. And also that's a balcony. Balcony. There's like two chairs. I'm not gonna open it because we don't have time. But you can see like the whole view of the city um, and also like the ocean as well. You can see that. And then we go here. And there is the bathroom. And then after the bathroom, there is the main room. also a mini balcony right there look out okay so that's it with our trip um yes we're gonna now go to the beach the last activity that we have to do is go to the beach and then after the beach we will be catching our flight to go back home So we went to the famous Bondi beach, um, the one that we see on the TV and everything. And yes, I was going to go there. Um, we did not swim because it was very cold on that day, but the view was nice and just, you know, people watching was also great. You could literally see people working out at the beach, people surfing, people walking. Um, walking with their dogs and everything it just was a really nice place to just sit at have breakfast have um, uh, lunch or anything and just enjoy the view and that's exactly what we did we ordered our food at this restaurant that was nearby and we just sat down and looked at the view I had my breakfast that was me having my breakfast and I just people watched and looked at the view that was very pretty and awesome. Once we were done with our breakfast, we then headed to the airport where we took our flight going back home. Um, this trip was actually a very amazing trip and we did enjoy Sydney is a nice city and it's a very pretty city. Well, thank you very much for watching and do subscribe to see more.